swim, bike and run. In the corner sun, we're gonna swim, bike and run. In the corner sun, breakfast with Bob. Yeah, there is a thin line between fit and fucked, and um, there we go. Therefore, that's also just um, part of the game. I mean, uh, I know it very well that sometimes just the next step is the one you should have not done, you know. And um, uh, so, therefore, it's very difficult to be at your absolute very best, but at the same time not overtrained or injured. So that's um, everybody knows that, and it's just uh, yeah um, part of the race to be even at the start line. Were you about, about 5k from the finish when you caught her? I think it was around that, yeah. And so now you're in third, and there was a pretty cool gap there. So you, could you celebrate? Or are you like, okay, I'm not celebrating until I get to Elite Drive? <laughs> um, yeah, it was actually only on the last K where I, you know, tried to look around to if I can still see her. Because you never know, you know, maybe no. she will find like a second breath and uh, then she's back. Um, but yeah. Um, you know, my number one goal for this race was uh, to have a positive uh, racing experience, like something very different from last year, and then cross the finish line, like not with frustration and disappointment like last year, yes. but with a big smile and uh, soaking it all in. And uh, I was able to do that. So, yeah, it actually felt a little bit like a win uh, for myself, you know, Absolutely. having such a good race on this island. Um, I love the island. I love the energy. And, uh, yeah, just running um, underneath the banyan tree, this is just something that gives me goosebumps because, yeah, you really feel like all the energy there and you know you've done it. And, yeah, it's such a release uh, to cross the finish line and, you know, all the pressure and tiredness and you can just let go. And, yeah, it was, was really cool. What would it mean to you to win this race? Oh, I mean, phew, I, I don't even have the words, you know. Um, see, see this ring? It has the coordinates of the Kona finish line. And, Wait, and it, your so, ring? Yeah. It so, has the coordinates um, of the Ironman finish line? Yeah, it does, yeah. Um, and it's, it's my mum's old jewelry that we, that we melted down. And, um, yeah, it, it would mean... It would mean everything, and um, yeah, I will. I will get there one day. I don't think it will be necessarily this year, but um, yeah, I'm here to learn, and uh, and yeah, didn't just keep at it. And uh, I guess even if even if I don't don't win it, um, I would have tried my my very best, and I guess that's all that all that counts. And um, yeah, I'm 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 pretty confident that me and my team will get there. Though. So, what's the prognosis in terms of next season? Is what's what what happens next? Um, my psychology at the moment is one day at a time and it sounds okay. a bit cringe but i'm on day nine or something at the moment yes i'm counting because it matters with my stitches um but uh i'm not thinking about the future at the moment i, okay. I know that bone healing takes four to six weeks six being the sort of yep yeah, it's healed but it it can take a few more weeks so i'm giving myself the flexibility that hopefully in the next couple of months i'll be back and active and i'm i'm pretty happy that People take breaks all the time and they're fine. And I know that my fitness is good, so I can just jump back on the horse. And I, I reckon by you know spring when races happen again, I'll be fitter than I've ever been. Love it. How about a round of applause for Cat Matthews? We talk about that this race is predictable because it's unpredictable. And you're, beforehand, I'm sure your thought wouldn't be, okay, I'm going to take the lead at Javi and I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be the guy pushing the pace on the bike. Talk a little bit about that decision, because this is one of those races where you, you can't think, you just got to go. Yeah. No, yeah, I actually wrote that down every, every mile, what I wanted to do, and uh, yes, it played yeah. out perfectly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, yeah, I, you know, I talk with Mark about this. When you come into this race, you can't really have a set game plan. You have yeah. to be uh, dynamic, because right. the race um, is so dynamic in itself. So um, I took an opportunity when I saw one presented to me. Um, and my, you know, my original idea was I don't want to get dropped going to the turnaround hobby. Every year I've done this race, yes. uh, that's where I lost the race. Um, so I went up to the front just to make sure that didn't happen and made the turn. And then I said, well, maybe I'll get a little gap on the uh, on the the Germans when they come yeah. bombing down the descent since they love to push it. And um, look back and no Nobody's one came there. up. Yeah, so I said, okay, well, I got an opportunity here. Let's make this my strategy. Uh, I'm going to go off the front. And, you know, I thought to myself, first, I'm like, you're not the guy that's supposed to be off the front of the bike in Kona. Yes, you are. Then I said, why not? Yeah, right. Why not me, Bob? Exactly. Why can't I be off the front of the bike? Exactly. Yeah. So I just went with it.